Well, hello! Do you remember the I follow trend? Well, I enjoyed doing those videos so much that I decided to continue it. Today I'm gonna do Pony Syndrome's Pop of Color makeup look. If you wanna see how I did, just keep on watching. Hi, my name is Frankie Franchi and I do makeup video tutorials, reviews and more videos like this one. If you're new to my channel, and you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. Okay, so now let's jump to the video tutorial. Okay, so I already actually uh, applied moisturizer and it is absorbed. Let's watch the video. I love when they say, 안녕하세요, 뽀니입니다. So I would say, 안녕하세요, 프랭키입니다. Whoa. <laughs> She is gorgeous. I don't know if you know Pony Syndrome, but if you don't, look at her look at her videos. She's a celebrity Korean makeup artist and she is fabulous. She's very good at explaining. Her videos are actually subbed, so in English, so you can actually follow her. And the result is always like, wow, she's always gorgeous. Can I look gorgeous too? Like that? Let's try. By the way, disclaimer. Uh, whatever I have that she has and she's using, I will use. If I don't have, I will replace. So she's using a Too Faced concealer, which I don't have, but I actually have. The funny thing is she's using an American concealer and I'm gonna use a Korean concealer and she's Korean. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Cyan Tip, Cyan Tip Concealer. She's gonna apply concealer to give dimension to her face and she's choosing a lighter concealer. Uh, she's gonna apply it over here on her under her eyes, drawing a triangle, basically. On her chin, and also over here. Then she's actually blending everything with a, splen a sponge. She's actually applying foundation on her face. She's using liquid foundation. She applies it on her hand first. Let's do how she does. Let me shake. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty one. I don't have the one she has, so this is what. So she applies it on her hand. And then uses her finger. Like this. And goes like this. All over her face, right? She's really so neat and so lovely when she does this. I'm not exactly she only did one, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> well, her is like more video friendly. Mine is like oh, voodoo. Then she uses a beauty blender and blends everything. Okay, so now she's actually using a concealer. It has a little of orange in it. I don't have the Tony Moly. So we're gonna apply a teeny weeny of it and she uses a flat brush to do this. Flat brush, teeny weeny 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 weeny. So she pats it on the dark circle and then feathers it out. Also covers some blemishes as well. That's what is left on the brush. She uses a finishing powder. It's from Chaco. I may not be pronouncing it right, but I don't have that. We're gonna use, she says it's a professional one, so we're gonna use a professional one too. The RCMA, the original no color powder. She uses a powder puff to apply it. Well, I don't have that at the moment. So I'm going to use a brush to collect the powder and set my foundation on, on top of my lid to get away any crease. Now she's doing her brows. She's using a product from Misha and I'm going to use a product from Benefit which is the Goof Proof. It's a pencil in any case so it will do the work of course. By the way this is my go-to. <laughs> okay so I don't have those straight eyebrows. I'll try to make mine as much as straight as possible. Eyebrows done. 
Okay, so now she's going to apply some um, brown, very light brown shade in order to um, apply some shadow on the crease and on the nose. She's mixing two colors, one that is actually more similar to Sweat from the Huda Beauty palette and another one which is lighter. But I don't have the lighter one, so I'm gonna stick with only Sweat. And we're gonna make it really light. So actually, she also put some on her lid, on the below her nose, under her lips, and on her chin. For the crease, she's using a brown toned shade eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a new eyeshadow that I actually bought and I really want to use, which is the Inglot eyeshadow from Jennifer Lopez collection. Here you can see it, this is Walnut from the Inglot collection by JLo. I have to apply more layers of it because it has to be built, but it's really nice as a color, as you can see. Let's try it and let's zoom in. Same eyeshadow, smaller brush for the under eye. So she connects the under eye with the upper part and gives a little bit more definition. Uh, now she's gonna use three pencils from Etude House. I do have two of them, but I don't have the third one because the orange one because it's actually not sold anymore for some reason but I replaced it with another pencil always from a dude house so let's keep it going so she applies one burgundy in the upper rim of her eye trust me it's not easy to work with these pencils are really, I mean, on the hand they are so soft, but like here, oh, probably it's because like all oh, my eyes are like very soft and like wrinkles get in the way and, oh, anyway. Okay, so now she uses the popping orange, which I don't have as I said, underneath. And she only applies it starting from the inner of the eye uh, towards the middle. Now use the last color, rose brown, from the outer to the middle, so to meet the orange. Okay, actually she has that killing look, like. <laughs> Let's try it again. My killing look. Okay, so now she gets the eyelash curler and curls her, her lashes. Okay, so she applies eyelashes. I'm gonna use these ones, which are very natural, like hers. And these are number Lash Fort Intense Volume number seven from Boots. So falsies are on. Let's proceed with highlighting, as she is doing. Uh, she's using a um, Misha um, eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow over here from Etude House. It's from the Play Color Eyes Beach Party. She applies it in the inner corner of the eye, upwards. Cupid's bow. Then with the bigger brush, she's going to apply it on the cheeks, on the nose, forehead and chin. To bronze, she's using um, a NARS bronzer. I'm gonna use a Kiko Milano bronzer, this one over here. She uses a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna use instead an angled one. Charlie contours on her cheek, on her temple, and on her jawline. So the eyes are done. Let's go on to the lips. She uses a lipstick from MAC, which is named Diva. I don't have that, but I do have another lipstick from MAC, which is called Oh, actually I have Everyday Diva. <laughs> and it's this actually bright red. 
Okay, so she actually applies the lipstick in the middle of the lips and then smooths it up um, with a lip brush. Let's spray it. Okay, so she actually draws it too, but anyway, the look is complete. Okay, so this is my recreation of Pony Syndrome's makeup look pop of color. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you liked it, you liked the look, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and to subscribe to my channel and of course, why not, don't, please do comment down below and suggest me what other videos to do next or what other tutorials to follow next. I'll see you next time, bye!